Hi friends, I hope you're having a good day. My name is Christine and welcome to Make It or Bake It with Christine. Balak or spinach is a very healthy leafy vegetable. Today I'm going to show you how to make balak dal. Balak dal is made with a lot of other dals like tuur dal or arar dal and even chana dal extra. But I'm going to show you how to make balak dal with masur dal, a dal which is available in most of our houses easily at all times. So let's quickly go over and see how to make it. So these are the ingredients. I'm using two medium-sized tomatoes chopped, two medium-sized onions sliced. Here I'm using um, turmeric, red chili powder, garam masala, and kitchen king masala. Then I've got half a kilo of spinach or palak, about four or five green chilies chopped, one cup of dal, and ginger and garlic chopped roughly. Now I'm going to start with giving the dal a good wash. I like to wash it in warm water. So I've washed it a couple of times and I'm just going to simply boil the dal by pressurizing it two times by adding a little bit of salt and haldi. That's it. Here I've added about two cups of water. There it goes, haldi and salt. I'm going to close the lid and, and I'm going to pressurize it. The first whistle will be on high heat and the second will be on low heat. Now here I'm using a wok okarai and I've added about four tablespoons of oil and I've added some jeera. After that splutters, I'm going to add in the chopped ginger and garlic and fry them for about a minute or two before I add in the onions. I'm going to give it a good stir for about a minute or two and then I'm going to add in the onions and I want the onions to get slightly brown not like golden brown but a little more than translucent so I'm going to give it a good um, fry now I've added the salt and then I'm going to add in the tomatoes the green chilies and then after frying them for about two minutes, I'm going to add in the spices, the turmeric or the haldi, the kitchen king masala, and the red chili powder. I'm not going to add the garam masala now. I'm going to add it in the end before I turn the flame off, once everything is cooked. So after frying the tomatoes and the with the spices for about 5 to 10 minutes, I've added the palak. Now you can see that the wok is so full, but literally it, the, the quantity reduces after it's cooked. Now the dal is fully cooked, and look at the quantity, reduced like tremendously, like there's nothing in the wok compared to what we saw when it was raw. That's what it is. It reduces so much. I'm giving it a good mix before I add in the dal. There you go added the dal now and I'm going to cook it like this for about a good 10 to 12 minutes on simmer. I have not covered it with a lid, I'm just cooking it with, uh, without covering it, just stirring it occasionally. Now I'm going to add in the garam masala powder. And after stirring it for about four to five minutes, I'm going to turn the flame off. Now I like to season the dal with some red chilies, so about in a tablespoon of oil, I've added some red chilies and I've seasoned the dal. And there you go, the balak dal is ready. The measurements for this recipe will be available in the description box. Please do check it out and I hope you enjoyed this video.